Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again YouTube viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Shantae and the Seven Sirens, where we are in our hard mode playthrough and are going through the Sea Vent Lab for the second time. Oop, wrong one. I wanted to heal dance. We go. Now, as I recall, I only have the level one pike ball. That's probably not good enough. Not for the upcoming section, but oh well, better than nothing. Why? They really are just going to keep coming. Okay. And I don't have the turtle stomp yet, so I can't go down here. have to keep going this way. Oops. Wrong item. Ah! Darn it! Get those hearts back, and I destroy that guy. Okay, so... Two points of no return. This was the second one I went up last time. And wow, it did 15 points of damage to that guy, I just noticed. Must be because I'm wearing the hula costume. They didn't drop anything for me to pick up. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay. Key number one. And... <laughs> Alright. Another save room already? Okay. Sure, why not? Things could go wrong at any time. Learned that one the hard way. Oh, great. This nonsense. Missed me. Okay. Ow! 13 points of damage. Jeez. Okay, that'll suit. Ouch. This could be bad. Okay, there we go. Oh, great snakes. Okay, let's deal with the fire. Okay, this is... Sneaky. They're using the snakes to just slow me down. So that the fire has more time to do its work. Ow! Okay, where am I exactly? All 
right. I could go to the left, but that just gets me back here. No good. Alright. Hmm. I think I need no spike damage here. But I don't want to un remove any of these. Okay, let's let's get rid of that one. Switch no spike damage. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, that guy. Okay. Alright, I have a key. I could go through there. But... Uh, I know there's another point of no return where I can get another key. It's not through here. Must be down below in this room. Right here. Ah! 11 points of damage! Ah! 10 points of damage! Jeez! Huh. Okay, let's get rid of no spike damage and go back to some healing item. Um, more dropped hearts or turn gems into hearts? Hmm. Let's try this one for now. Okay. So here's the other point in no return. Oh, great. Okay, heal those guys now. I don't need the bubble shield anymore. <clears throat> this could be a... Okay, not really a very good uh, gem place. Gem grinding spot. I want to go up or... No, I don't want to go up. I need to go down. heart. Didn't need one, because I danced my way back to full health. Oh! Oh dear. Thought I was about to get really badly hurt there. Whew. Okay, let's save. <laughs> oh, this place. I remember this one. Okay, gotta find my way through this maze. There we go. Okay, got the second key. <clears throat> now, I can't go back the way I came because that was a point of no return, so I gotta go this way. Uh, 
Okay. Over here. Oops. That's not going to work. Oh, boy. Fine. Got to go this way. There we go. Missed me. Okay. That one wasn't too hard. Since she got herself trapped on an upper level. Okay, and now I'm about to go through those lobster joggers again. Um... Hmm. Let's try something different. Okay, that worked fairly well, actually. It's too bad I couldn't keep jumping, but the ceiling was way too low. Okay. Ow! Boy, it hurt me, but it also destroyed that thing to run into it. Eh. Well, that's what that's for. One of the things that's for, at least. can't go down or directly right, so I have to go up. I could go up here. Alright, this is the heart squid I had trouble finding last time. the wrong one. I wanted to see her dance this time. Come on. Can't hit me when I'm under here. Ha ha. Just come on down, please. There we go. Up. Can't go this way. Alright. And I'm pretty sure back in this big room I can't go down. It'll be sealed by stone blocks. Ow! I'm sorry about the constant clearing of my throat, guys. I'm really congested right now for some reason. Uh oh. Okay, I know what's invisible up here. There we go. Ow. Okay. Hmm. That heart luck card isn't really helping very much right now. Well, 
Let's see. Is there anything invisible in here? No. <clears throat> the only thing is the locked door. Fair enough. Here? Well, I mean, if there was, wouldn't the plink symbol have popped up? But no, it didn't pop up before for invisible monsters. Oh well. Anyway, I know there's nothing hidden in here. Okay, where am I now? Now, well, let's go over here. Oh no, this place. Oh, gods, I hated this one before. I'm not going to like it much now either. Alright, let's save that for later. Oh dear. Oh, I need a key. in here. The map. Not a key, but eh, it might help. Anything else? Nope. Alright. Let's see. The only place left is that room down below with that obstacle course that gave me so much trouble the first time. And I'm not too confident I'll do any much better I'll do much better this time oh dear oh man I was too low to catch him okay yeah keep going snakes get out of my way All right, let's try this again. So far, so good. Uh-oh. Spike damage. And pit damage. Okay. All right, so... Spike damage. That's not pit damage. That's pit damage. All right. No spike damage, no pit damage. The key I need, all right. Now I remember there's a wall right here. there'd be one of these things here. Oh, can't go through here yet. Alright then. Okay, got it. Alright, so I have the key I need. Now to go back up. Up, oh, this guy got restored back to sickness. Wrong way, darn it. Uh, and the fight with Risky Boots is coming up. And I forgot to turn Magic Regen back on. Okay. More hair whip damage. Definitely want that against Risky. Yes, I want to save. Run. 
Mm. So now I'm starting to wonder if maybe Risky's whole business here is kind of reverse psychology because she knows that Shantae will refuse to give up like she's telling her and she'll just continue plowing forward regardless. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. But then there's that whole regardless thing. She doesn't need to use reverse psychology to make Shantae do this, and she ought to know that perfectly well. So I'm still kind of confused about this whole thing she's going on about, you know, staying out of my way. She doesn't actually want that. Risky boots. <laughs> You've got some explaining to do. You're so demanding. Perhaps I've finally started to rub off on you. Very well. I have a spare moment or two. I'll answer one question, and one question only. Okay, then. What are you really doing on this island? Did you just come here to find that treasure? Shame, shame. That sounded like two questions to me. Those girls vanishing at the same time you show up. It can't be a coincidence. <sighs> Fine. I'm feeling particularly generous today, so I'll make you an offer. Defeat me in battle, and I'll tell you what you wish to know. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh man, the shield doesn't block that one, okay. Ah, okay, let's think. Okay, I can duck underneath that one. There we go. Dear me, stubborn as ever. You promised. <laughs> Why are you here? Tell me. Oh, very well. Like I said before, I'm here for the treasure. That's not good enough. Then how about this? The real treasure is the sunken city itself. And I intend to take it. What? Huh? How can you steal an entire city? That's all the questions for now. You've wasted enough of my time as it is. Ta-ta! Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. What? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm sure we'll find out. It's not like we don't already know. Alright. So here's Zapple. Hold on, I'll get you out of there. Hmm, huh. it's another of these bizarre cages. Where am I? Deep inside the sunken city. Under the island, huh? Mm. Figures. We need an escape plan. Take this. The bonker tortoise. What's this? That's a magical fusion coin. It will allow you to transform instantly into a new form. This one bears the mark of a bonker tortoise. Bonker tortoise? Bonker tortoises are rare creatures that inhabit this island. They can't swim, but they can smash stone and even spin on their top spike. Using its abilities, you may be able to locate the source of evil in this place. 
Okay, so it's LT this time. Left trigger. <coughs> Boy. <coughs> I'm just all congested today. Right through the center room here. Oops. Okay. Nothing in here, really. That's a pretty chintzy prize. down to two hearts already. Alright, so I got this heart squid. I don't have to worry about missing it this time. Uh, let's see, now where? Now I think I need to go down and to the right. There's a locked door down there. And I don't have a key. So... Anything over here? Oh, yep. Darn it! Boy, that was close. I nearly ran right into those spikes. Okay, down we go. Alright. Okay, got them all fixed up. I, I want to go to the right, I'm pretty sure, but what's to the left? Oops. Ah, this thing. And away we go! Ah, here I am at this place. Oops. All right. And... Back this way. 
Okay, satisfied my curiosity. Now, further down? Ultimately, no, but I still want to see what's down here. Just gems. Yeah, save room. I mean, I should have known that. I saw it on the map. Okay, that's done. Ah, another heart squid. Okay. Let's get the heart squid. There we go. And on we go. Looks like there's something secret down there. <clears throat> oh. Didn't want to do the refresh dance. Okay. I mean, I guess it's true there's something secret, but that's not what I th thought. This kind of misty, smoky thing right down here looked like something secret. Alright, this room. There should be a key in here somewhere. Ah, there we go. First try. Okay. That was simple enough. And quick way back. Where do I need to go? Okay, I need to go to that locked door that's down and to the left, but it's a bit of a trek. So let's get going. Oop. Okay. Oh, couldn't make it. There we go. Ow! Okay, yeah, I'm right where I need to be. Let's go save, since I happen to be here. And now... Hmm. Okay, that's the easy way back up. But I don't want to go back up. At least not yet. jar hidden in here. Okay. Alright, I see how this works.
That should do it. Okay. Okay, all that's left is that final heart squid way back at the beginning area. Is this where I want to be? Nope, I'm not down far enough. Okay. There we go. That should be where I need to be. Yep, this is the place. Huh. It's kind of amusing, I guess, to have those muckmen in there. But how else was I even supposed to get to them? That should be everything except the final boss. Well, not final boss. Labyrinth boss. Uh, yeah. That's it. Just time to head on back. Da -da -da. Flying as a tortoise. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. And now, just drop right in here. And back up we go. Okay, another one of these rooms. Uh, let's see here. I didn't have the no spike damage card equipped. And up, I think. Yep, there we go. And yeah, okay. Alright, time for the boss. I've got everything much faster than the first time, since I don't have to search for that blasted heart squid. Alright, let's see what she has to say. could have sworn I saw... Where did it go? Don't move, invader. My darlings will decide your fate. You're the siren who captured Zappel. Show yourself! Shh! Memer, memer, what? I can see that she appears healthy, my pet. Memer, what? <laughs> no, not after what happened to her highness. Mer. There are plenty of other ways to be rid of her. 
Mer I don't like one-sided conversations. I really don't. No, that would leave a stain on the ceiling. Merm. I must apologize. My pets cannot seem to agree on this matter. Best that I dispose of you myself. Okay. That's all of them. Ow. Ah. Uh. Ow. getting kind of irritating. How did I do it before? I mean, I know what I'm supposed to do, but for some reason I just can't get the timing. Ah! Finally got them. Come on. Ow. There we go. Come on. Ah. Stupid falling rock. Darn it, this is... Is it faster than it was before? It's because this is hard mode? That would make sense. Arrgh. Come on, die! There we go. And the refresh dance really helped out there. Okay. Still have about 15 minutes. A bit more than 15 minutes before I want to stop. Glad you make it. You make fighting those creatures look easy. Boy, that tortoise magic sure came in handy. I never knew I could transform like that. Hmm. What is it? Did I do something wrong? You're creeping me out a bit. I was just thinking. How'd you get out of your cage anyway? Me? I was never in a cage. I wasn't captured during the performance like the rest of you. You're the only half-genie that wasn't captured? Hmm. Sounds suspicious, right? I guess so. Where are the others? Uh... Well, I rescued Plink and Vera already. So I'm guessing Philin and Harmony are still trapped down here somewhere. I don't like it. Something doesn't feel right. I'm going to talk with Plink and Vera. Wait a second. I don't think I did it. Do you? Just keep doing your thing. When you're ready, meet me in Armor Town. It's on the far east side of the island. I'll be waiting for you there. Okay. 
something secret in here, eh? Okay, another nugget. Let's see now. You know, there's really no point to trading the nuggets for the cards since I already have them. Might as well just keep them. Okay, so I need to get to Armor Town. I can do that now. But, let's see. What's the fastest way? Eh, probably to use the warp room off to the right. Go up to the warp room in the yellow area and just go up from there. Let's be off. something there. Okay, I still have the stronger hair whip equipped. I don't want that right now. Let's see. Maybe no spike damage? Or no. You know what? More hearts. Alright. Off we go. Into the wild blue yonder. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, come on. There we go. Something secret here, eh? And let's use the refresh dance first. Ah, another nugget. Nugget number ten, if I remember correctly. Yep. Got ten of those guys now. something finally. Okay. Don't want to get hit by this guy, that's for sure. Okay. Let's see if how well this works. Ow. Darn it, didn't want to hurt those guys. Oh, wow. Uh, 
Okay. Homing rockets aren't really working very well. Let's test out the boomerang. I need the quake dance for this one. And now that I think of it, let's heal up. And also let's switch back to the bubble shield. And let's bloom this flower. And get another nugget. Yay! And here we are in Armor Town. Welcome to Armor Town. We believe that the best defense is a strong offense. Or is it the other way around? Huh. Okay, there's something hidden here. But not in this particular area. Who took my Branson doll? It sure didn't wander off by itself. Not cool, man. Over the years, I've crafted many fan blades. People travel from miles around to view the huge f view the huge fans I've constructed all over this island. So many people, in fact, that I had to create my own personal admiration horde. Admiration horde members get a certificate of authenticity. Okay, I have a few uh, heart squids. Let's turn them in to the heart squid murderer. Right. I hear something. Body armor is critical, should cover from head to toe, just not the arms or legs or midsection or face or knees or elbows. Ah, the store. I have a lot of money. Okay. Alright, definitely could use this. Even less damage taken? Yeah, I definitely need that. Okay, sure, let's buy these items too. Okay. And I'm actually been try I'm deliberately not buying the attract item this time, and instead I'm just using the dance to get stuff. And I used a health potion, didn't I? Alright. Let's get some insurance here. Okay, there we go. Now then, there's a secret in here. Okay. And there's still more secrets out here, is there? Ah! Oop. Wrong one. Okay, here's something. And let's go back to the original bubble shield. 
There's a thief in our midst. I can't find my drool stain doll. I had it earlier. Who besides me would even want such a gross old thing? I seem to have misplaced my rugged manly plush. If you see it, please return it. Not that I need it at all. And open up the warp room. There we go. Okay, so the armor baron is up above. Oh, there's something hidden in here, is there? Hey. Zapple! I talked to Plink and Vera. They said that after you saved them, both of them gave their abilities to you. It's true. It's because of their magic that I was able to find you. All fine and good. But now they're after me to do the same. They want me to give you my magic, too. That Was that your plan all along? To get our magic? No, that's not... Relax. I trust Vera and Plink. And I want to trust you. But this all seems way too fishy. Go and get me one of those fusion stone things. I want to see these heroics for myself. Then I'll decide whether you're as trustworthy as they say. Well, we need to get a fusion stone anyway, so eh. And there's still more hidden, is there? Okay, so it's in the ceiling here. So I need either the tortoise stomp or the quake dance. Quake dance, yeah, okay. Oh, and there's something in here, too. Hello? Yeah, greetings, friend. <laughs> Armor Baron's the name. Defense is my game. Armor Baron? You're not by any chance related to the Ammo Baron back home, are you? Can you believe it? Ammo Baron has a brother. And he's a stud muffin. Scotty! So! You finally got off your rump. You said nothing could make you leave the pool. Oh, no. Don't try to make me the bad guy. You're the one who couldn't obey the rules. We were supposed to stay in our room. Which was fine by you. All you care about is your dumb tan. You! <laughs> your uncle is worried sick. He said you fell into the city and something about sirens and risky boots. Why didn't you tell me all this before? I tried, but you kept ignoring me. Well, if I'd known you were in real danger, I would have helped. To think, I could have met this rugged stallion two chapters ago. <laughs> uh... Is he really Ammo Baron's brother? I know, right? <laughs> he must have got the good looks in the family, eh? Okay, now I really don't trust him. Mm -hmm. Tut, there's no need for concern, I assure you. I'm not a belligerent, bellowing buffoon like my dear sweet brother. Alas, my misguided sibling's actions weigh most heavily on my heart. Huh? You mean you're a good guy? <laughs> sure, Shante, take his word for it. That's not going to come back to bite you later. Listen, friend. May I call you friend? I understand your concern, but please withhold the harsh judgment my namesake has surely earned. Give me a chance to demonstrate my pure intentions. After all, it is the mature thing to do. <laughs> Did someone say swoon? Your lovely friend Skye has made me a proposition. She proposed... Proposed? That I dedicate my craft, my knowledge of defense, to create the ultimate half-genie armor to protect you from harm. Wow! Half-genie armor? It will be the greatest armor my town has ever forged, and forging of armor we have done for many years. Mm -hmm. The creation of durable, Ooh. sleek, ah. snug, yes. and sturdy body armor has been the shared goal in the life of every citizen of Armor Town. We are forged in the forge of life, and so we forge forward each and every day. Uh. That's a lot of forging. But we cannot accomplish this task on our own. To forge the ultimate extreme half-genie armor, we will need three ore chunks. 
These chunks are formed by the relentless heat of the white sand dunes found on this island. Bring me three ore chunks, and I will forge you the ultimate extreme powers unleashed half-genie armor. Huh? You do that for me? Of course. Consider it a gesture of goodwill. My way of apologizing on behalf of my dear misguided brother. Wow, that's awesome! <laughs> Thank you, Armor Baron. Oh, one more thing. Please take this. Okay. Huh? What is it? A gift for the mayor of Arena Town. Mm. That code book is quite old. I believe it contains security codes of the sunken city's defenses. Ah, okay. So this is how Risky Bo <clears throat> the mayor of Arena Town, found his way in there. With luck, he'll be able to seal those nasty sirens away for good. If you don't mind delivering them, that is. You can find the mayor back in Arena Town. Sure thing. Leave it to me. You can count on me. Mm -hmm. Three or chunks. Don't forget. <laughs> Yeah, sure. We won't forget. Take the code book to the mayor, yeah. Okay, okay, I get it. Aww. You don't have to hold my hand. <laughs> okay. Alright, so there's stuff in both of these um, ceilings. Okay. Hmm. Well, running low on time, but I can at least get back to Arena Town pretty fast. Strike a pose. Okay. Oops. What's she say now? Armor Town is just beyond this bridge. Yep. We've been there. Visitors once saw a ghost ship off the coast near Tree Town. Some say it was haunting an undersea grave. Could there really be a sunken wreck on the western sea floor? Okay. So, I can do the trade quest to get the nuts and bolts from Bolo, and I can use them on that broken fan off to the east. But I can't do anything with the fans until I get Zapple's power. And to do that, I need the Fusion Stone. And to get that, I need to go off to the west to speak to the Ghost Pirate. Uh, sailor, rather. I don't think she was a pirate. But anyway, I have to go speak with her. And start that little sub-quest. And before I talk to <clears throat> him... Activate a machine by giving it a shock, okay. Dude, somebody dropped their Melba toast on the ground. Then that mayor man accidentally stepped on it. He doesn't even know. Someone should say something. Okay. <sighs> this is bad. Got to contact the mainland somehow. Huh? Mayor? Uh are you okay? Fine, fine. Everything is under control. Oh, you have something for me? Yep. The codes! Our neighbors in Armor Town spoke of this. Finally, some good news. The sunken city is a complex structure, and much of it is sealed off. My hope is that with a better understanding of how the city was built, I can finally block the advance of those creatures. What? You knew there were creatures lurking beneath this island? And you still built Arena Town here? Uh, 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 the truth. You see, the town was here from the beginning. I purchased it in hopes of creating the ultimate vacation destination. The cost was low and the owner was eager to sell. I even had the island renamed. After all, no one would want to spend their vacation on Siren Island. Siren Island? <laughs> yes, yes, Siren Island. I had heard the rumors, but I didn't believe them. Dear, oh dear. I was such a fool. Mayor, I need to tell you something too. Oh? I know you wanted me to stay out of trouble, but I went down there against your wishes into the sunken city beneath the island. You did? 
I was the one who freed Plink and Vera, and Zapple, too. Huh. <sighs> but how could you accomplish this alone? The other half-genies used fusion stones to share their magic with me. Oh. Fusion stones. Very clever. And the other two magical girls, they're still down there? They won't be for long. Young lady, I owe you an apology. I underestimated your abilities just because you were the youngest. Please, uh, hey. do whatever it takes to find those girls and stop those sirens. I will do what I should have done long ago. Prepare the island for evacuation. And since... Oh, what's this on the ground? Melba Toast. Whoever dropped this must be awfully hungry. <laughs> Which is Bolo. Presumably. Alright. So let's see. The next thing we have to do is go down into the green area and further inward to see the uh, ghost sailor. And that will start the uh, subquest. Wait, there's two dots flashing. There's one in Tree Town. Oh, it must be flashing a dot to tell me, you know, go bring that stuff to Bolo. Well, whatever. Anyway, so the next uh, main section is to go down to the green area, go speak with the uh, ghost captain and see about getting the fusion stone from that little subplot. But that's going to be next time. Thanks for watching, YouTube viewers, and I will see you in the next episode as we proceed on with the plot, get the fusion stone and Zapple's power, and hopefully make it the rest of the way to the next um, labyrinth. Yeah. So yeah, I'll see you then. Later.